Hey, what is going on? You misspelled Mesprit coming at you with a new series of content today. The Road to Arceus series is what I'm calling it, where I'm trying to take an account, a new account that I just made from zero to Arceus. And I probably won't be able to do it in the first month. I'm not going to lie. It might take a couple months to get up to the Arceus League, but that's going to be the end goal. Get to the Arceus League. And then every month after that, every ranked reset after that, continue to get to Arceus League and see how high I can get in Arceus League. How many, I don't know, how much LP can I actually gain? Um, and how deep into the Arceus League can I actually go? So I started at zero, made a new account. I'm currently at 280 right now. I'm going to be doing these streams probably two to three times a week, the Road to Arceus streams. I'll be playing one to two different decks on them. Uh, for this first one, I just played Owen Kammerman's uh, Chi and Pao list. It's the exact 60 that Owen played to win the Dortmund Regional Championships. Felt pretty good. Uh, I definitely think Backscalibur is still a very solid deck in the meta. So if you're looking to play Backscalibur, definitely just check out Owen's build here. Uh, there's no deck specifically that I'm going to be playing for these Road to Arceus uh, streams. Just going to be whatever I feel like playing, whatever top deck I feel like playing. I will be trying to go out of my way to play, um, you know, better decks. Nothing too meme nothing too wild. Probably not going to catch me playing Golden Go. But, you know, whatever top meta deck I feel like playing on the day, I'll be playing that. Maybe one to two different decks. Maybe just one deck. Like for this first stream, I only played the chi and pow deck and i'll be trying to go a little bit more try hard with these games as well i'm trying to get as good of a win rate as i possibly can as i try and grind up to that arceus league um so <clears throat> gonna be looking to hopefully put out some better gameplay overall uh, i know i do misplay quite a bit on stream sometimes we can try and focus up lock in a little bit more for this content and then try and go a little bit more in depth with my gameplay analysis as well so make sure you check out the streams live if you get the chance for these road to arceus streams uh, but if not i'm gonna come at you with gameplay from each of them like this video here today uh, before we do jump into the gameplay with the chi and pow deck though gotta give a big shout out as always to dragon shield for sponsoring and supporting me and everything i do here on the youtube channel with the live streams and as a competitor i love their sleeves and i've been using them for a very very long long time they're by far my sleeve of choice i prefer the matte uh the matte sleeves the matte dragon shields um check them out dragon shield Dot com. The link, of course, will be in the description. And you can use code AzulGG as well over there to get yourself a discount. With that said, let's jump into this action with this first Road to Arceus video in the series. Series in the video. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Oh, okay. So I will show Rachel for two here. Well, hang on. Let's see if the Greninja's here. Greninja is here. At 8, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. One, one, two, this guy, or one. Prize the VIP. Um, as a cross switcher, as a nest, as a candy, prize a candy, as a stop, and something else. Okay. Nest ball for Greninja. I guess I'm freaking out about the timer because I don't have to worry about the timer. I can let the timer burn out, to be honest. B barrel. What do we prize a super rod? No. What is it? Nest ball candy. Ultras. I don't know. All right. Sealed for two. Oh, we prize iron hands. Yeah. All right. B doof. So we don't have a turn to. Oh, no. We do have a turn to attack. But I'm probably not going to turn to attack. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm probably not going to attack turn two here. Um, cause I don't want to kill one prize Pokemon cause then we can like lose the try to like the prize trade to a defiance band or a vitality band or something like that. So we don't want that to happen. Um, yeah, we don't want that to happen. Um, turn to Greninja though. Yeah, we could go for turn two Greninja. Oh no, we can't even do that. Never mind. <laughs> we don't have a fridge back sound, so we can't attack turn two anyways. Even if we had, though, I don't know. Um, now yeah, for now, though, we're gonna have a great stream. All right, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I don't know he's an actual Zard deck. Well, hold on. We'll let, let him cook a little bit longer. They might actually have a Zard deck, though. All right, that's really good for us. The Artisan is really, really good for us. See what they grab here. Yeah, the Artisan's good for us. I, 
it's hard for me to thin out my hand. Like, I don't... Uh, I do kind of... Okay, and Iono here is pretty good. I did have the bee barrel in my hand, but Iono here is pretty good for me. I was like, I need to get multiple Frigid backs. Thinning out my hand is awkward. There's another Chain Pad, which isn't great, but this is fine. This is a good hand. And now we can Irida for double Frigid backs. Uh, honestly, we'll probably Ultra Ball for a second Bidoof here as well. I don't think I'm concerned with... Yeah, I don't need to attack with Iron Hands. <clears throat> Anytime soon, I don't think. I don't think I play for the Iron Hands attack here. I'm sure I'm getting punched by a Charizard next turn. So, because of that, because we're probably getting punched by a Charizard next turn, I think we can go aggressively for the... And we could also, like, double cross with KO Rotom here as well. Um, what's the most consistent deck at the moment? Um... barrel oh, I guess I can get like a different item card here off the Irida to be honest so I can go like Irida for Rigi Rigi maybe plus candy I think I'm fine with that and then this for another Frigi and then Ultra Ball for a Bidoof I don't want to play the vessel yet though because i don't want to like just burn through a bunch of energy for no reason i'd rather conserve the energy if possible so i can go like, i don't need to be like super aggressive this turn so i'm gonna draw two here shivery chill for two concealed cards for two just build up on the hand that way and then we'll go from there um the hand is starting to get a little clogged here okay that'll be good for next turn obviously and then yeah probably still attach active just get that in play and then pass and how many energy do i have left in the deck Five, six, seven, eight. So I do need to use the superior next turn, no matter what. Maybe I should just burn the vessel. To be honest, maybe I should have burned the vessel. Um, probably DT Mew. Yeah, DT Mew is probably the most consistent deck right now. All right, here comes the Infernal Rain, and then we'll see if they have. Honestly, if we'll see if they have Boss to go with it, because honestly, Boss can might be barrel here would be kind of annoying. We do have like the the reset for it, but like that would be a pretty good play. Boss can be barrel would be pretty good here from them. Let's we'll see what they go for though. They might just punch my active, and I'm definitely fine with that because I just respond with knockout. They got those. See what they got. What do they got? I don't know. Okay, it's fine. I mean, my hand was good because it had everything, but I'm pretty confident we'll still draw into everything here. We got everything. We got pretty much everything. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We're chilling. Like we pretty much have everything we need here set up, so I'm not like worried about it. Ultra ball away. This this candy backs. Play the stop. We're looking okay. Oh, sheesh. Okay, so now I can go. It's even better. Candy backs. I gotta be careful with the team Devo, so I don't want to candy out like second backs or anything like that. But then Ultra Ball. Second B barrel. What's my energy count left? Fighting water. Okay. So I will need a superior here. I'm assuming I will get there. Uh. I don't want to use concealed cards yet, though. I do want to try and conserve as much energy as possible. If I have to use concealed cards, I will, but... I mean, the cross switchers are good. Um, I still need to dig deeper, though, so I could still go, like... Well, hang on. Actually, I could super rod back to water, plus a Chi and Pow, and that actually would be enough. That should be fine to do here, to be honest. Um, and keeps my cross switcher so I can like chase Rody next turn. If I need to. I could use this first. Control one with B barrel first. What do I want to do? How do I want to sequence this? How do I want to sequence this? Um, I guess draw one with B barrel first. Okay. Focus stop. Now it has to be the super out play, anyways. We might need three champ pow this game, so I think I do just get the champ pow now. And shipper shall knock out. Punch was is terrible for them right here, right? Um, it's not terrible. They should do something. They should put the pressure on. Like they shouldn't. It's it's probably just correct for them to punch Wizard here, to be honest. 
Um, it probably is correct for them to punch with Sard here. It just doesn't feel great for how the prize trade actually ends up breaking down in this matchup, to be honest. It doesn't feel great for how the prize trade breaks down, but I think it is probably just the correct play. Um, yeah. Commander KO's next turn. No, it'll be 10 damage short on this Mander. They can KO like, with this Mander if they have a Defiance thing or a Vitality Band. Defiance thing or Vitality Band works, but they need one of those. Um, so they could get it. Um, they could get it here. We'll see. You'll appreciate the 12 months there, uh, Davy Broy. Rot. It looks like they might just be going with another Charizard hit, though. Then I could go, I could go double cross switch or Rotom, KO Rotom. And then I have double cross switch to bring the Charizard back up if I need to, if they go with like a, a Radiant Charizard after that, because that's what could happen. Or I could just try and KO the Charizard. Well, I can't, just holding this many swatch, switchers in the hand is probably just not correct. I'll probably go Ultra Ball Away Vessel plus hands, get Chi and Pao, and Chi and Pao, double cross switch up the Rotom. Um, and then I can go for a double cross switch or hands on the next turn or something like that, following up. Or just KO the active Charizard with a... Oh, they are going to go for the Heat Tackle Knockout. Okay, okay. That's fine. But yeah, then we can go. So they get, they're going to go for the Heat Tackle Knockout here, which is also fine. But I think we do just go KO Rotom then with a Chi and Bao. That seems fine. I'm okay with that. That line. <clears throat> or I could try and go Iron Hands KO the active here as well. No, but I have these four Cross Switchers in here. I just need to use one. I just need to use the Cross Switchers. I think I just need to use the Cross Switchers here. I think we definitely just go with the, the Double Cross Switcher on the Rotom here. Can you hands the melon? I could, but then I have all these cross switchers in my hand. <laughs> like I just have so many cross switchers in my hand. Um, I could hands the Pidgey, I guess, right? Um, I could go for Iron Hands KO Pidgey. That would be fine here, to be honest. I don't hate that. So that removes Candy Pidgey out, plus like Iono. Um, I want to play the Ultra Ball and thin out the hand more aggressively, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the, the Chi and Pao to play still. I think we still go with the Chi and Pao play. What are we looking at for Super Rod? It's in there, okay. In four Superior. They're all in there. I do want to try and keep the other two cross switches around here. I, mean, I can get rid of this back caliber because I have super odd left, right? I think so, yeah. He's fine. Hell. I do have another super odd left, so it should be fine. I did get one. I do want some more dead cards to work with here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's literally perfect. All right, got that. Have the waters. I got active. Ooh, the cross switches are weird though, actually, because what if they don't? Oh, the cross switches are weird, because but the thing is like, ooh, okay, that actually is interesting. Maybe I should have just burned all four cross switchers there, to be honest. I maybe should just burned all four, because if they attack with the Charizard, I can't cross switch or anything, and now my hand is still once again trapped, or, like kind of stuck. There's a good chance I can can draw through the rest of my deck here, but. Honestly, I maybe should have played all four cross switchers there. I honestly maybe should have played all four cross switchers there. Otherwise, it could get a little bit awkward here, to be honest. Um, yeah, we'll see. Those. I mean, there's a good like there's only 11 cards left on my deck. Yeah, okay, we're probably still good here. We're probably still good here, but I think I could have played that a little bit different. I could have just play, burned all four switchers because then even if they attack with Radzard that turn, then I can respond to Radzard with a Backscalibur attack or a Greninja attack. And then if they attack with two prizes right after that, then I respond with the GM Pao. I should be able to get the KO here. I'm pretty confident we can get there. Yeah, we're pretty good. We're gonna be good. I wanna try and dig as much as possible here. So I think it's correct to draw Industrious, and then there it is. So we're good. I was always feel, I was feeling confident that we'd get there, but 
We had so few cards left in deck. The Pokestop was in play. Double B barrels. But honestly, I think I should have just burned all quad. I should have burned all the cross switchers there, I think. I think it was actually the correct play. It was just uh, to burn all the cross switchers. All right. So we beat. We finally beat our first. We hit our, we hit our first real deck, and we did defeat it. But I just don't keep track. I don't think it's. I don't think it's that bad of a question to ask. To be honest, I don't really. I definitely don't care if they ask it. I also just don't keep track though. So. All right. Three fridge. Oh, I just when I wanted Greninja to be prized, bro. What do we? What do we prize? A Chi and Pao. The people can get a Chi and Pao. Um. Okay. We'll see. Cross switcher. This ball, ultra ball. Prize an ultra. Andy. Stop. Stops the last one. Okay. So this hand I'm like tempted. Because of what I have in it, I'm actually tempted to go heavy ball for second chin pow. Does this ever help me win the prize trade though? Do I ever win the prize trade from this scenario? So they're gonna go knockout, and I go Chimpow knockout. And I respond with, oh, see, I don't even know if I have a win condition after that with the current board state. I think I maybe just have to brute force my way through them though and make that my play though. I'm getting the, the lighter retreat for G here though. I don't know if this is correct though. If I should have got Greninja and tried to like make a play where I have more plays to be honest. We should give this up there, Victor, over to back seat. Welcome to the pack, back seat. On the accounts, we're all out of oranges. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to be honest. This feels like it's gonna be tough. We'll see how they play it though. Um, Hazel, do you often get sick from going to regionals uh, or even just the traveling? It seems like that would happen more often with all the people around. Yeah, I don't think I get sick from time to time. I can't remember the last time I got sick, but okay, they put the more pack on play. We're feeling pretty good. <laughs> Shout out to my opponent for throwing. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, yep. Yeah, this would be a lot harder if they didn't put the more Peko on play, but... I mean, they could still have, like, Boss KO Frigibax, and I'm still in trouble, actually, but... Yeah, I'm still in trouble if they have Boss KO Frigibax. Well, no, because I could just go Chi and Pao to KO the more Peko at that point, and we'd be like, okay, still, I think. Um, yeah. Did you get sick after LAIC? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, I don't remember. I've been sick a couple times this season, for sure. I've definitely been sick a couple times this season. Am I going to Los Angeles Originals? Yes. Oh, we're starting to hit real decks though. We're starting to hit the real decks. We're starting to hit real decks for sure. Or seal stone, that's fine. switch card they haven't used billy yet right they sell four seal stone i mean they're probably knocking me out here to be honest they're probably gonna ko me <laughs> like i don't see myself surviving this they could whip they could whip but I don't, yeah i think we're gonna get knocked out. which is fine it is actually fine for us to get knocked out here we do have a prize trade on board though who's favored in this matchup i have to imagine it's roaring moon i have to think um wait, why doesn't putting more peko in play matter because they go knock out for two prize cards and i go knock out for two prize cards and then they go knock off for two prize cards. And then I go Greninja, KO more Peko, 90 on Squawk ability. And then Iron Hands, double cross switcher, KO Squawk ability for three. And I win the game first. Um, yeah. But if they don't put down more Peko, I literally can't do that play. And I just lose on board. Like if they get the KO on my active here, I just lose on board. If they can attack every single turn. Um, but yeah. But now I can actually win the game. Ninja kills more Peko on Moon. Well, if they do Frenzy Gouging, then that's a play. But I'm assuming that's not going to happen. But I guess it could happen. Is that another Billy? Second Billy. Yeah, I'm not really thinking about them using Frenzy Gouging, but if they do end up using Frenzy Gouging, that is like another out. I'm assuming they just kind of get the Pokestop, but um But yeah, this matchup feels this matchup does feel uh favored for for Roaring Moon. I don't know. 
if you know you're up against Rodenwood, I think you should go second and try and leave a one prize when you're active, but even then it can still be tough. Yeah. You think Moon Hands is good or is it just not the optimal moon list anymore? I think Moon Hands is uh I don't know, I guess I'd have to play the Charizard more mat more with Ross's list to be honest, but that's like the big question. That might still have to be my route here, actually, because of the stupid tool here. One of the tools still leaves him at 90 HP, so I guess I could still do the Greninja play for three. So we could still look to use Greninja here, actually, which would be pretty good. I might try for that. We'll see what our top deck is. Yeah, they maybe whiff the stadium here, actually. We might be able to actually pull it off. If moon plays catcher, it's slightly moon favored, but it can get really hard for moon sometimes. Really? I would just assume this is definitely moon favored. Yeah, I would assume this matchup was definitely moon favored. All right, here we go. At the very least, we can go with the Chi and Pao into the Greninja into the hands play. Now that they missed the stadium, though, we actually have like a pretty good route to take here. Ooh, that's a good top deck, too, because now we can go. I can go Irida. I'm just gonna, I think I'm going to play it all out here like Bax, Nest Ball. Ball four. Now I think we. Now we're in a really good spot because we can do the Greninja play. I think I, just, I think I do just want to play it this way to maximize draw off the B barrel though, because I could have played it. Could have played it differently where I like try and draw with B barrel before I use Irida, but that feels like really slow. I do want to get another fridge down though, although it's pretty unlikely that they're gonna boss kill my back Scalper with no energy and play on their side, so I'm not too worried about it. Um. I wouldn't mind a Bidoof. I do have the Greninja play guaranteed now. Um, oh, I guess it's just thin the energy out of the deck though, right? I don't want to draw into energy. Actually, do I even have enough energy? Oh, I do have enough energy, okay. All right. Um. Okay. <laughs> All right, super cold. Honestly, I'm debating getting the Bidoof here, but I should probably just get a fridge. Could they have could they have boss KO? They could have catcher KO. They could have catcher. They could have catcher. Now we get the thick one, right? No, we still get the thin, uh, little one. Probably get rid of these two. Yeah. Let me put two active and then a one on the fridge, I guess. Yeah, I was going to put on the Chi and Pao, but if they boss KO Chi and Pao, I guess I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, if they whiff the stadium like this, then this actually makes things pretty good for us, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is, actually, this is pretty good. <clears throat> that's a pretty good draw on that. That was pretty good to use there. I don't know if there was anything else. Yeah, that seems pretty good. It seems like the play. But yeah, even if we had whiff there for the turn, it would have been good. Yeah, I guess to play around catcher, I probably to play around catcher, I should definitely have, get another fridge here. Um, would Bravery Charm be, be good in Champ for this matchup? Yes, but it's probably not worth playing. Even if it even if it's good for the matchup, but you probably should never play it. Uh, you'd have to want to play Chi and Pao, and Roy and Moon would have to be like I don't know, like a million percent of the meta to like warrant it. To be honest, and yeah, now it should be an easy just Chi and Pao, Chi and Pao to clean this to clean this up. Let's see, one, two, five, six. So I still have two energy left in the deck. Um, so this will be a pretty easy knockout here. And then I just want to establish another Chi and Pao. Yeah, another Chi and Pao, and then another Bidoof down. That should be. So I'll, for the Eero, we just get like Chi and Pao Bidoof here, I think. And then load a bunch of energy in play. Wait, actually, did I pry? No, I got that one off the prize card with the heavy ball already. I also prized the Eero, apparently. Wait, I knew that. Did I not check my prize cards this time around? I maybe didn't check my prize cards this game. I thought I did. I don't remember. They got a lot of energy in play here. But they weren't able to attack with the moon? They have to hard retreat? Tragic. That is tragic right there. All right, two POWs, and it should be a dub. I could try and get the hands double cross switcher play, I guess. But I think I should just play heavily for the... I think I should just play, like, sequence out my hand turn super aggressively for the double chi and POW play here. That's probably just correct. Irida. Oh, I did top deck super odd there. It's just so unlikely though. Impo. Yes, ball. 
do. Then um honestly, would it be better to I don't even know if it matters. Alright, we're supposed to shiver chillier while well, I'm thinking about this. Would it be better to like superior weight the B barrel and then shuffle it back in the deck with the super rod? That's like what I'm thinking here. Because I could go like play this. Oh, I should have just like superior that. I don't know what I'm, why I did that. That was stupid. Um, honestly, I just don't know. Like, I don't really need to play this super. If I can go like this, is that better than just. I don't know if that is. That doesn't seem better. And I can super rod it back to the deck. Super rod this. Energy. I guess Radiant Credinja in case I need to draw cards. I mean, it doesn't seem bad, though. This doesn't seem like a bad sequence. Just load up a bunch of energy. We have to discard four here for this thing. This Fuji's ready to go. Get rid of one after the active. Oh, <laughs> I just drew back into it. I mean, it worked out, I guess. For that. I guess my discards are like, what? Two... Three, four, sure. Yeah, I don't know if it I don't know if it really mattered too much. I just kinda want to like play as many cards as possible. Just cause like the only thing I'm like playing around here is like Iono. At this point, the, the at this point, the only thing I think I lose to is Iono. So with the with that idea in mind that the only thing that I lose to is Iono, it's probably correct to play it like that, because then I put the V-Rail back in the deck where I'm more likely to draw into it if I get Ionoed. Because if it's in my hand, it's in my hand. But if I shuffle it back to the deck, it could end up in my hand at the end of the turn, or it'll stay in the deck. Um, and then if I get Iono, it's a higher chance I draw into it. So it probably makes sense to play it that way. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Seems fine, though. That seems fine. <clears throat> Any chance those rank icons you got on the top left can be shared in the Discord? Um, yeah, I can probably put them in the Discord after or later today. Yeah, they did have to use the... The biggest thing there was this game was that they had to use Frenzy Gouging. But if they don't have to use Gouging, then it gets it gets a lot tougher if they don't have to use Frenzy Gouging. But thankfully, they did. Thankfully, they did. Made things easy for me. They even have an attack this turn? Are they even attacking? The other thing that I could have done with my discards, I could have left one of my active. I don't think it really changes too much. Like if I get super rod, I can just search out two and throw two there, which is like the same thing. I don't think it really changes much. And if they gust KO this one, well, maybe I should have split it one, one. Cause then if they gust KO this one with like a catcher, like I don't catcher. Oh, it seems like they don't play catcher up to this point. It kind of seems like they don't have the catcher. So maybe it doesn't even matter, but if I split them 1-1, one, one, then all I need is a superior. But if they kill the bench, one, I need a superior plus an energy to actually kill like this thing with 300 HP. So this works. Right, another dub. We're playing real decks now. We're climbing up. I don't know how many more games I'm gonna do today. Probably. Top deck, top. I just so many good top decks. Give me anything, dude. That's superior, bro. Why do they always give me a superior, bro? a b barrel iron hands dude iron hands has been priced a lot <laughs> and a back caliber sheesh the squad's sleeping i mean honestly if they're gonna take a break for a game this might be the one though because yeah I don't, I don't even know if the squad can save me in this one stop and something else was it heavy ball All right. <clears throat> Hopefully we draw 
draw well. Let's try my Sonic's listening to your opinion. Oh, hold up, I don't know. I don't know. I've not looked at them at all. I thought about Starlax. I've not looked at Starlax lists. No opinion. Dude, I need them to not get the double turbo there, though, bro. Dude, they're cooking. They're cooking, man. All right, what do we do here? Um, I can't play this. That sucks. Honestly, I kind of just want to rip stop first and hope for nest balls and maybe an ultra ball. Because the bottom of my deck is a bunch of item cards I don't want to see. Dude, my Greninja, bro. Come on. Actually, honestly, that's not that bad, though. I think I'm actually going to retreat to a different Chi and Pao and hope they can't KO it with the Lugia. Oh, does that make sense? I could retreat to a one prizer instead. All right, this is fine. Go. Let me think for a second. One, two. Could just retreat to a fresh Chi and Pao. They like have nothing set up. So they're probably not. I'm just gonna just like bet on them knocking the loot. I don't want to give them a prize card. Is giving them a one prize knockout fine though? Would be the question, I guess. Um, we could have boss KO, so we need second fridge. And then we need a Bidoof as well. And then at this point, I may as well get a second Bidoof. So they could boss my lone Bidoof and that would also suck. Honestly, kind of coming together here. Catch active retreat. But I'm not going to use this Shivery Chill because otherwise I'm going to draw less with B-Bear last turn. I mean, I'll use it, but I'm not going to take any energy. Fail it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Couldn't you ear for rod and ball for ninja and then draw and then have draw power? Or is that a waste of rod? I don't think it's worth the. I think I mean this is like the same thing. I'm still setting up for draw power on my next turn. Okay, Luminian. All right. Giving Sonics here honestly seems like a massive L. They are going for the. They really want to kill the Shin Pao. Okay, sure. <laughs> Go for it. I mean, this isn't getting them any closer to the chops, so I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. If they don't get chops next turn, then all of a sudden we're winning the prize trade. So. I feel like just lax punching my active there was like a fine a fine play. Of course, they might just get their next turn anyways. We'll see. We just need Ultra Ball. That's all we need. Ultra Ball. And not to mill too many energy. Ultra Ball. Dude, what is this draw, bro? I probably should take that just in case I need it. I don't know if I'm... Actually, no. I could get the hands for the three on the Luminian at some point. Dude, what is this draw? What is this draw? All right. Now... Shiver Chill. Anything energy for the stop? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I did missequence that. Yeah. Oops. That was bad, actually. I should have done the energy. I didn't get punished, though. I didn't hit any energy, but... I already attached for turn. Uh, so probably correct to think because my hand needs a top deck. I can't even draw with B-Barrel if I wanted to. All right. Um, I don't really want to play the nest ball because I just want to keep the bench face open. Pass. Yeah, I, I for some reason, I, I don't know why I thought that was correct with the sequence there, to be honest. I don't even know. I had a brain fart there. But yeah, I should have gone B-Barrel, Shivery Chill, stop. Didn't get punished, but doesn't matter. Still whiffed. But we can go knockout active and then hands KO Luminian. No, but they have this thing that KOs my hands. Dude, I'm just, I'm, honestly, I just lose. I just lose. Honestly, I lose. I only have one Archaeops in the scrap pile. We could double cross switch or KO the... They're going for the one Archaeops. Okay. Um. Well, hold on. I could double cross switch or hands KO the Archaeops for two. Okay, okay. Hang on. It's coming. Because they only because they can't set this thing up if they don't have an Archaeops. So, and this thing can't KO hands. So, I could go hands KO lone Archaeops. Um, yeah, that's the play. Well, how does this thing even attack? We have exactly two, four, six. Oh, this thing can't even attack right now. Okay. But I still think double cross with Drakeo this thing. Okay, now I have it too. Okay, cool. So I have a Baxalibur. I think just thinning the Baxalibur out of the deck here makes sense. Oh, I don't have the lightning energy. Oh, maybe I should have. Mm, I don't know. Getting the Baxalibur here feels pretty good. And then the cross switcher. 
Well, the higher chance of getting the cross switcher than the vessel, and the vessel also thins out the deck of the lightning energy. It's probably correct to go like this and then use the Pokestop, right? Or can I actually draw cards with E Barrel? I don't think so. It'd be a tough draw for the Beebs. But if I get the, cr I want, I really want to KO the Archeops with Iron Hands. So actually, no, I don't need to KO with Iron Hands. I just need to KO it, to be honest. I can Iron Hands Luminion for three later, anyways. So I can't with Bax. Oh, that doesn't even work. No, maybe I need to do the other thing. Shoot. Did I actually need to do the other way? Um, hang on, let me think for a second. Um. I need to, yeah. <clears throat> I think I should have done it the other way, right? I think I should have done it the other way, actually. Shoot, that's bad. I get the lightning. Wait, wait, let me think about this for a second. I go, okay, oh, the thing is, this thing is, this stupid thing is coming back up into the active. I hate this guy. Um, so I need to still try and hit the lightning here, though, right? I think so, yeah. But I did misplay that. I did misplay that. I just go all out for it now then I can go throw this down double cross switcher chops and the pans <clears throat> load them up honestly I feel like I should I, I should have focused up first actually because if I hit an ultra ball here then I can draw more with B barrel oh that works too that works too okay pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool um, here, away these two. That's also something I was thinking about, but it's correct to stop first there, I think. It's correct to stop first there. Wait, have I already attached return? Oh no, thank goodness. <laughs> oh yeah, for a second there, I was like, oh shoot, I think I've already attached. Right, I'll keep these two in the hand. Thank you very much. All right, we're chilling now. But yeah, I should stop first. And if I'm going to stop first, the first thing I should do is stop. Um, but maybe not before I... I could have... Honestly, I probably should just stop before I even played the Irida. And then I just hope I don't whip, uh, mill the backs there. Because it increases my odds so much of like pulling this play off. So, yeah. That's how I should have played this for sure. I think it's definitely a mistake. Yeah. <clears throat> I should have just gone all out, basically, for the for the line. Okay, so now we can go Chi and Pao, knock out the Lugia into double cross switcher, KO, Luminion with Chi and Pao or Iron Hands. Then that's fine. That works. Um, they're going with the Snorlax Punch. Uh oh. Well, now I have to go retreat Chi and Pao, knock out into double cross switcher, KO, Luminion for three. Okay, that's still fine. A lot of shitty cards. Okay. That's the play, right? That's a, am I missing something? No, that's the play. That's the play. Um, I just want to find dead cards with this, to be honest. So I can get just like Chi and Pao plus this, or Chi or uh, Frigid Bax plus. My other B barrel is prized, I believe. You. Gold. One. Honestly, I could attack with a back scalibur theoretically. I could put two here. Why well, don't you get rid of three? Um two here, I guess. Because I only need one energy to attack with this thing, I guess. Did I so I did I get the beaver off the prize cards though? What did I get off the prize cards there? I don't remember. Um, don't you cross with Luminion the KO anything with Chien Pao? Oh shoot, I did have that play, didn't I? Oh yeah, I definitely messed up. That was 100% the better play. I was trolling there. Yeah, I should have gone log. Oh yeah, log. I had heavy wall stop. Okay, so no. Yeah, 100% could have just KO'd Luminion for three and then Chien Pao for my last prize card. I was just trolling. <clears throat> Much gaming. Yeah, I should have 100% just cross with your Kel Luminian. 
I 100% should have just crossed with Jakeo Luminian. Ugh. All right, one prize card. B barrel? That's not B barrel. <clears throat> All right, so now I need to get the second cross switcher. But well, the problem is here as well is they could go KO my iron hands. That's like another problem here is they could KO my iron hands here. If they have a gust effect this turn to KO my iron hands, then I'm not too afraid of them having a gust effect next turn. So I could just like punch them with, I could just like leave for Jabax my active or something probably for a turn and be like fine and then recover from there. Well, actually no, this is their only attacker in play. They all, all they have is this Lugia. I forgot, they don't have Archeops. So if they do go, Boss KO Iron Hands. I just KO their Lugia with Jin Pao. Okay, cool. In second, opening Iron Hands going second. We're up against Tina. Tina's a pretty good matchup, but I don't know if this is going to be able to overcome. This is a tough start. This is a tough start. This is tough. Have I ever tried Swim Freely, Jin Pao? No. Favorable matchup, but it's tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We'll see. They did have a slow start, though. That's what we'd like to see. All right, so I think we go. I think we still just go get Greninja. Okay, Greninja was there. We did prize, big fridge. Let's see what else we prized. Two B barrel, one Bax. Bax is prize. Prize Irida and Iono. So our draws here off this thing are not going to be as good. We need to find Bidoof here as well. Bidoof's like the guy. One Ultra Ball or two Ultra Ball? Oh, we have two Ultra Ball in the hand. Zero Ultra Ball. Um. We prize our lightning. Come on. We open the iron hands and we prize our lightning. Like it's like we prizing lightning sometimes. All right, it happens. But the games we open our iron hands are the ones we do not want to be prizing lightning. That's for sure. <sighs> this is so tough now. Oh my gosh. Okay, how do I even play this? Um dude, what do I even do here? Okay, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ultra ball away a candy and a Shin Pao. It feels bad. Yeah, okay. But I think I'm gonna get a B doof. I think I'm gonna get a B doof here. I think I need B barrel to. I just need to see more cards. I just don't. I just do not see. I have no cards. I think we just like plan on not attacking next turn. I think just planning on not attacking next turn is just correct. Like, I think we just have to just concede that we're attacking next turn. I just don't think it's happening. Do not think the attack is happening. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. Just one of those games where even if you play too light, you probably prize it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this definitely doesn't convince me to play too lightning energy or anything like that, but. <clears throat> Two back seems crazy, but what can you do? What do you mean, like playing two back Excalibur seems crazy? If playing two back Excalibur was crazy, you, you would just play a third back Excalibur. Two lightnings for the arm press. I mean, it's for both. You, I think more often you're gonna like you're gonna use the second lightning for the fact that you prize one of your lightnings, so you can still use Ampy very much than for the other thing. All right, so then I'm gonna go stop Ultra Ball. I think I give up these two. Got to keep the candy at this point. B barrel, B barrel, draw four. Hopefully, get an energy. That yeah, was a lot. We see a lot. I was kidding. Nope. Yeah, I think we use focus stuff. I was thinking about not using it here, but <clears throat> I think we need some stuff. Are right, the sw switches are nice? Only one fridge is not very good. I think I'll throw this doof down as well. Pass. So we need a top of like Ultra Ball or something. <clears throat> need some help here, man. This is actually really awkward too. I need them to KO my ninja or my hands though, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have benched that doof. I don't know, I'm in such a bad spot. Maybe it just doesn't matter to be honest. Just gotta do it, go all out. We do have a way to unlock ourselves now though. We do have the switchers. So we can like switcher up something. Or they might just KO us now actually. <laughs> but I still wanna play the switchers anyways. Cause I need to get this out of my, uh... I need to get them out of my hands so I can draw with B barrel. Dude, this is awful. This is literally terrible, man. Nice. Uh, Bidoof, I guess. This is not a boss. I was scared of having boss on Fridgy there, but. Boss impact, okay. 
Top back ultra would be clean. Top back ultra ball would be nice. That'd be a good one. Okay, so I think we're gonna send up B barrel because we want to cross switcher the Greninja into the active with bring I bring this up and then snipe both comfies to play here. So B barrel goes up. And honestly, I might poke a stop before I've only I have two ultra balls left. I think I gotta poke a stop first here and hope to hit an ultra ball to thin out this hand. There's just no way. Reggie, baby! <clears throat> the collect! Well, there's no way. Oh my gosh, dude. <clears throat> so I can B barrel for one. <laughs> Uh, all right, this one's chalked. I think I don't think I'm winning this one, dude. I've seen three cross switchers, bro. The cross switchers feel terrible, man. This is exactly how cross switchers have always felt for me. I, mean, I just wanted to give them another shot for sure, especially with Owen winning and all. But dude, the cross switchers, I really wish they were just like, uh, like cards. Like a couple of them were just cards. Because if I cut the cross switchers, I would add an Iono, um, try for Pokemon catcher, honestly. <clears throat> what would I, I would cut them for Iron Bundle, Countercatcher, Iono, and some other consistency card. Maybe a Poke Gear. Um, yeah, maybe like a Poke Gear. I'd be down with that. I'd be down with that. I think one switch would be good. Uh, I mean, I'd do a Escape Rope, I think, before I did Switch. Not 100% sure on that. Um, I don't really care about the, if you open hands and it's in a bad situation, uh, oh, well, you're just kind of in that situation, but <clears throat> yeah, you can always burn them to draw with bib. That's just not true though. Cause sometimes you have one cross switcher, <laughs> like sometimes you have one cross switcher and also sometimes you want to KO their active. Um, yeah. Often it's going to feel so good instead of pass. It's going to feel ridiculously good. It's probably gonna feel broken. Get ditto in there. I mean, I'll send up the Greninja. Okay, once again, we like, need like an Ultra Ball. We need an Ultra Ball. Okay, concealed first. Mm. I think we do this. We have to hope this hits a thing at this point, I think. Ultra Ball or bust. Oh, hold up. It's happening. We don't have really anything left, but. <laughs> we literally have nothing left, but hold on. Let me cook. If we get the Iono out of the prize cards, honestly, this is winnable. If we get the Iono out of the prize cards, it's honestly winnable. We'll see. Yeah, the comfies. Get two prize cards. Iono. I need Iono though. I feel like I, we, if we don't get Iono here, it's not winnable. Hey, Iono. Okay. Bib draw. Oh no, I forgot to draw with B barrel, bro. I'm just so checked out of this game. I like remembered it, but uh, two outs. I was loading up Braden Greninja. I was like, hmm, I don't think I've, 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 I've uh, as I was loading up Braden Greninja, I was like, hmm, I don't think I've used B barrel yet. Ah, oh, that's so bad. And then I just like did the thing. Yeah, I was cooking too much. I was cooking too fast. Literally, I had that thought process too. I was like, I don't think I've used B-Barrel yet. And then shoot, that could be huge. Cause I need to find like Super Rod and like Nest Balls to get another Chi and Pow. Or like Super Rod, Super Rod's the main one to be honest. Yeah, I need to get Super Rod. All right, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, if they just set up two Chinas here, we just lose anyways, all right? They've used Star Requiem. I wish I didn't have Greninja though, which I'm down with that, I think. I don't think that does a whole ton for them. Um, yeah, dude, I forgot to be real draw. That sucks. Um, the hard retreat into the Greninja snipe. Dude, what? What is this play? This is what we needed. 
My opponent just completely lose it. We can try and go for iron. Oh, we prize the lightning still. So it has to be a. Also, we could KO with Backscalibur, actually. We could KO with Backscalibur. I can get another fridge with this. So even if they KO that. So Backscalibur KO is probably the play. Throwing? They're definitely throwing. This is a terrible play. This play from them is literally awful. <clears throat> it does not get worse than this. Oh, I don't have a fridge prize. Did I already get it? I must have already got it. Okay. Um. I don't know. Excalibur knockout. Just two energy. Does this even get anything right now? I don't want to save that. Nest ball then. I'm going to go this. I don't remember what I added onto the bottom of the deck either. But it's not a superior. Um, I only like one card. I need to get another fridge though for this. I have another candy left. I have one candy left. Excalibur, Excalibur prize. So I need like super rod this turn. <clears throat> so I need like super rod. Okay. Exactly what I needed. Rod for for backs, Iron Hands, Chin Pow, I think. Maybe not Iron Hands. Maybe like Energy. I don't know. Leave the Energy in the discard because I'm going to recover it with this. Um, what else do I even get here then? Um. I even need, what do I even need here? Do I need another thing? I don't even need another thing. All right, I just got the hands. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I need anything else here. All right. Um, how many superiors do I have left? I can't get rid of the superior. I can't get rid of the candy. I can get rid of the cross switcher though. Oh, oops. Tree first. Now I'm out of cross switchers though, but I don't, in this situation, for the state of the game that we're in, I feel like it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Concealed. Cause I want to get fridge and chin pow. Whiffed. I think I need to go get fridge. The hands I don't think I need. I should've just got another, no, I shouldn't have gotten energy. The energy didn't make any sense there. I should actually super cold these energy into play somewhere. Just put them here in case I want to attack with that. 30 because I'm able to draw cards next turn with Bex with the uh... oh wait I need the other super rod though sheesh all right still a long ways to go because <clears throat> I need to recover the I need Backscalibur off the prize cards or I need to recover Backscalibur so I need to find the other super rod now as well jeez bro and they got a coal risk man are you kidding me how many resources did they burn though like seven eight wait uh five 11. They've used a super rod and two gates. Oh, they, they, dude, how did they hit super rod gate off that? That's literally like the perfect two cards. <clears throat> they hit literally like the perfect two cards there. Super rod gate. <clears throat> but they could also just hold it. They don't actually have to play it. That's the problem here now as well. Okay, we need them to play it though. <clears throat> it's like lost impact of Backscalibur, which obviously isn't great. Um, and then next turn we need to go. Yeah, next turn we just need the Chi and Pow knockout. <clears throat> I need like top deck super out of Chi and Pow to make this like sequence easy. If I don't top deck super out of Chi and Pow, the sequence is gonna be super hard. Um, I'm gonna do pro progress reports for YouTube. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, do they just have one with Sableye? They just have the Sableye win. Wait, no, no, no. Sableye doesn't win here. Wait, do they realize that? Unless I'm not tripping, right? 
<clears throat> they could just kill my bee barrel, I guess, but I'm just gonna kill back Salva. But I have the ninja set up, so I can just ninja them back while I reestablish my board. Yeah, that was a really bad play. <laughs> that was a really bad play. Holy smokes. All right, it's winnable now. Or it's winnable again. 90-90. Okay, that's good. Grab this. Super Rod's in there, so do this. And then... Stop. Fine. Oh, maybe I should have b first. <clears throat> I don't want to see the super uh I don't know how I should see inside actually to be honest. I don't need to see it this turn, I guess. I guess this is fine. I don't need to see it this turn. I don't need to see the super rod this turn. I could see the super rod next turn. But I probably should have B barreled first and then Poke stopped afterwards, to be honest. Um Yeah, probably. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Fighting. Okay, so we can draw into it with concealed cards now. <clears throat> I do need to find that super rod though. So what's, what's the last two cards on my deck? Super rod and something? I probably should have drawn with, drawn with B barrel first and then stopped afterwards. I still could have whiffed, but um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's we'll see if they can get off an attack. They could like set up another. They could, it's possible for them to, like set up another safe lie or something this turn, I guess. But um, they're out of super rod though. They're down a lot. I mean, they could still... All right, that's good. That's nothing. <clears throat> if that starts amazing, we're even, the, even this close. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> it's definitely pretty ridiculous that we got this close. <clears throat> Maybe they're just going into an Abyss Seeking here. Uh, we have Stop. How do I sequence this? There's gotta be a correct, there's gotta be a fine way to sequence this stuff. Yeah, we just need super rod and then we can put two energy back. Then we can search out the energy. And a cram punch. So I don't need a ton of energy anymore. So this should be a pretty easy sequence here then. It should be a pretty easy sequence then. Draw. Super rod. And then we go. Super rod. Oh, no, 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 wait. I don't win. I don't win this turn though. I just realized that I don't win. Oh, I could hands. I could hands. Can I get to the hands play though? Wait, can I even get to the hands play? Am I guaranteed the hands play? Fair away those two. I think I, I think I am guaranteed the hands play. Um, if I go this. Oh no, wait, did I want to do that yet though? Dude, am I trolling? Am I just trolling? Am I just inting? Uh, I don't know if I can guarantee it though. Did I just mess up? Dude. There you are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just trolled. <laughs> let me think, let me think for a second. Can I sequence this where I get there? Ultra ball for hands. You can bib? Hold up, hold up. I don't think I have it though. I don't think I have it. You can bib still. No, I know I can bib still. Ninja for two. Oh wait, okay, maybe you're right. Ninja for two. This gives you these for the energy. Bib for one. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, is that? But that that's not guaranteed, is it? Candy. Okay, yeah, candy bib for one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I think I should have put the poke stop in play and used poke stop first milled the card and then super rotted them back but this did end up working yeah holy smokes dude what a game yeah, but I, I should have like slowed down and thought about it i didn't even like think about the hands play to begin with at all and then i was like yeah, i should slow down i should slow down i think it was guaranteed no matter what yeah i think it was i think it was well because i could get like my hand low enough where i got it for sure sheesh all right all right, chat. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't super locked. I want to be a little bit more locked for these streams, to be honest.